tip vid. Today's video, we're doing an update on the old Tiff Tough Green. So, I'll show you guys how it's looking in a minute, but it really is starting to repair. Like, it's starting to fill in, doing a bit of regular mowing, We've had some good rain, had some heat as well, which is awesome. About to drop though tomorrow, I think we've got rain for the next week. So, today, what I want to do is, I want to give this a cut. I already gave it a bit of an edge and a blow. Well, not a blow yet, there's still crap everywhere, but gave it an edge and stuff before we started. Um, and then we're going to re plug some areas to really help push some growth on this thing and get this thing to repair hopefully within the next month right so as you can see a lot of this is starting to fill in now that fertilizer we put down four days ago sort of kicked in you can see it's a little bit greener looks a little bit healthier maybe you can't maybe you can't I don't know um, but we can see runners are really starting to creep in these areas here this area is getting close to being filled in it's just not thick along here is where the most improvement is is though like that stuff was was not there before a lot of this stuff's filled in um, a lot of these runners have now established that I planted um, that's why I want to do some plugging today because I want that to it basically to fill in quicker because um, you know the couple of runners there they'll fill in over time but not as quick as if I put some plugs in these areas and let them sort of creep along so I'll show you guys what plugging is in a second but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mow this lawn um, with the rover which is just over here Rover is set at 10 mil at the moment, so let's give this bad boy a cut. All right, so. As you can see, after a cut, it does look a little bit better. Um, we still need that inoculate to kick in a little bit more. So I only did that fertilize last Thursday or last Friday? Last Friday morning, so today's Monday, so it's only been a few days. Um, but yeah, it is has definitely greened up a little bit of a, just a little bit, um, but yeah, it's still got a long ways to go. It still looks pretty crap, to be honest. Um, but that's what I'm gonna be doing some plugging today. So what I'm gonna use today is this little plugger just here. So basically what you do is you, you shove it in the ground, get out a good bit of turf, pulls it out, pulls the plug out, and then you take another spot from a bad area and put the good spot. It just sounds ridiculous me trying to explain it. I'll just show you guys. Right, so up along here is where the lawn has sort of crept out a bit because we only laid the turf to here against this edge here. So this is all stuff that's just crept. That's what Tiff Tuff does, it tends to creep sideways. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some plugs from these areas. So all you do is get the plugger, Tap it down, give her a twist. That's, that's it. As easy as that. Pop it out. Come on, man, get out there, man. Come on, man. There we go. So that pops that plug out, and then what we do is we get a crappy spot. Now, this might not hold together because there is no roots there. Well, there might be, but I don't think there is. Oh! Look at that. Let's see if it slots in. And then you just pop in the, the plug there. Look at that. Perfection. And all you, all you do there is put that bit of dirt in the old hole. So as you can see, very, very easy to do. So let's keep continuing with that. We're gonna to try to put quite a few plugs in these huge bare spots. Um, and just take them up the back there. Generally, when we used to do this on the golf course, we used to take it from the edges of the green, um, or we had a nursery. So we had a green, bent grass green, that was dedicated to take plugs from and slabs of turf to help repair other greens that had suffered from disease, too much wear and tear, lack of water, whatever it may be, that's what we do. Um, so let's continue to do this and let's just shove them in.
as you can see, you took quite a few plugs out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good maths, bro. Um, and then we're going to plant them in the worst areas. So, mostly here, where it looks creep. And then a couple through here, probably that area there. And then a couple down here as well. And that should do us. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do for today with those plugs. Um, only because I've basically taken all I can out of this edge here from the extra turf that I did. So we did quite a few plugs. Didn't go quite as far as I thought they would, I think, because um, it's a bit more bare than I thought it was. It's so bare, man. Bay. That should help immensely, like ridiculously in this area just here. So that has now got turf, like spaced pretty evenly all throughout this big, huge chunk just there. I found a bit of brick too down under there, which was not ideal. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, this area shouldn't be too bad. Like there's no huge gaps. This is probably the worst spot just here. I might actually do a couple of plugs there because that's a big chunk. Um, but the rest of it's not too bad at all. Even here, it's got green all throughout that now, so, and so does that, so. I think, we'll just, we'll touch up that tiny little spot there. I might do that later though. Um, and hopefully, this green really starts to fill in. So, with maintaining these plugs, um, basically I'm gonna keep the water up to them, so try and water them once a day. If we've got rain for the next two weeks, or week and a half, as I was saying, but it must have swallowed a fly, yuck. Oh, disgusting. Um, what is that? All right, I'm back. So, don't know what that was. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm gonna water this every day. We're getting rain for the next week and a half, so I probably won't even have to water it. Um, and now I put that inoculate complete down to give this whole thing a feed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start spoon feeding these areas only to really help promote growth in those areas here and help them creep into the bare dirt. Since we've got lo loose soil there, it's gonna creep pretty easily anyway, but we wanna speed that up with a good kick of nitrogen. So once a week, I'm going to be spoon feeding this with some nitrogen, so I'm going to put down about a quarter dose of nitrogen on those spots there, mix them up in a knapsack, and then liquid feed them out um, like that. Now I'll show you guys that when I do it next, I guess. I'm not going to do it today because I only just put the inoculate down. So I'll probably start liquid feeding it next week just with straight nitrogen just to push this bad boy and help it repair. Now. I'd only recommend this if you're trying to repair a little spot like that. Don't do that on your lawn, on your whole lawn, because you're going to start creating thatch problems because you've got too much excess nitrogen in your lawn. I would never do it with the rye. The rye would just, it'd start looking sick if you started doing that. The rye too is actually really responded from that inoculate, as you can see from here. I'll show you guys towards the end of the video too, some of the seeds actually come up already, which is, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. Liquid feeds, keep the watering up. I'm going to keep on mowing as well, so I'm even going to mow over the plugs um, as well. So I just sort of have to be a little bit careful with the cylinder mower. Might even start using the rotary, um, just so we don't get heaps of wood chip in the reel. Although I went over it today and I didn't get any wood chip in there, because I lifted up over those spots, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, regular mowing, good watering, proper fertile maintenance and we'll be in the green very soon. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Sorry this is a quick video today. I had to get this video shot because we've got rain for the rest of the week. So this might be Saturday's video. We'll see what happens. If I get another video shot, this might be Wednesday's video. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember, we're getting close to that 100K mark. So I think we ticked over to 98,000. Was it 97,000 last night? So we're getting close. Really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys late. Now, if you stuck around, rye grass is getting there. It's still looking a little bit sick because um, we got, again, quite a bit of rain. And the rain, man, it's just making the lawn look nasty because it's just not drying out enough um, in between when the sun comes out and stuff. So it still looks a little bit yellowy. Not sure how well you can see that on camera. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. The color is coming back, but it's still just got yellow in between. A few areas here and there. Um, but, 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 
our seed has germinated. So if you have a look here, this is the stuff that I did a week ago. Um, I don't know how we can actually see this, but some of that has grown up to like an inch. Oh, get the shadow out of the way, bro. Through here, you can see this germination all through here. So this was quite a big bare spot before. Um, so it's starting to fill in, which is so good, man. I'm so excited. And down the front here as well, we've also got germination next to the curb. I didn't actually need to give this a water. We're watering this nearly daily, just on these selected spots, not if there's no rain, of course. Um, not the whole lawn, because it's been too wet. Um, and you can see, heaps more germination through here as well. Some of it has died off, because I didn't water it yesterday. There's some brown in there. Oh, better get the water onto this. Yeah, see, so this won't need to keep watering all the time, because the seed stresses out and dies. Anyway, quick update. So the stuff at the back hasn't germinated yet, because that's only been four days. This has been a week. Anyway, so